There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get right into it. It is Friday. How did we do this week? It is July 1st. It is a brand new month. Let's talk about the last month. Let's talk about the last week. Let's talk about the upcoming week. Let's talk about how Gearbox is doing, the updates coming to Gearbox. Uh, as you saw last week, we did roll out a Gearbox manager update. So we're going to get into a lot of fun things today. So let's get right on into it. And... Um, go ahead and talk about everything one by one. So uh, the first thing is, let's just go over to my FX book as always, go over to our dashboard and let's take a look at the one pair data. So we can see the data is loading, given a minute here. Sorting by absolute gain, we can see that GBP AUD is still in the run for gain, absolute gain, USD CAD is winning, but you can see right now we've also been starting to swing back on those JPY pairs that took some losses back in April uh, and March. They're swinging back after taking some nasty losses on the JPY pairs. Again, these are why the JPY pairs are our worst performers. Um, but we can see that these other pairs have been performing pretty well. We can see NZD CAD did take a stop loss. Um, we did see that. Um, you know, we've seen that on some accounts. We're going to be bumping up entries on NZDCAD in the next manager update as well. But let's continue to run through it. We can see AUD JPY got itself back into the positive after going negative. Euro JPY and CAD JPY are still in the negative. CHF JPY is still a terrorist. So we avoid those pairs. Uh, but we can see how these have been performing. So let's go over to the VPSs and let's take a better look. So let's go on in here and. Let's pop in to Cloud Trader 1. All right, so now that we're taking a look at Cloud Trader 1, uh, what you're gonna see on the screen is we are in GBPCHF and we are in a swing trade right now on GBPCHF. Please bear with me today. My internet's gonna be a little slower. I am on a hot spot. Um, we can see that NZD CAD is on a terror run on this little $500 account. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that, yeah, NZD CAD's getting its entries bumped up massively. Um, so we're going to have to bump up the entries on NZD CAD, and we're going to roll that out in a manager update most likely today as well um, and roll out a new chart because NZD CAD, you know, uh, is performed really well from time and time again, but lately it has been going on a terror run. So... We're going to have to bump up those entries um, based on this data. Coming over here to AUD NZD, we can see that we are in a little drawdown, nothing too crazy, a little 9% drawdown on this account. Um, AUD CHF is in about the same, 9% in some swing trades and floating. Uh, AUD JPY, as we talked about, has made itself back after losing money. It is back at a positive balance, did 3% this week. That's a demo, ignore that one. Uh, coming over here, USD JPY is also working on making its money back. You can see it is in a gnarly swing after it looks like hit some stop losses. It's still been in this USD JPY cell. Um, looking to, you know, get out. You got stop loss here and take profit here. 
it's you know a bit of a, a run around there on that pair oh wait I know you guys can't actually see cloud trader 2 and see what I'm talking about because you're still on cloud trader 1 aren't you yes yes you are let's make sure you guys see cloud trader 2 there we go you see cloud trader 2 so I just went through it uh, USD JPY we talked about bear with me as I mentioned I am on a hot spot so my internet's a little slow apparently my Wi-Fi router decided uh, it wanted to stop working um, as we talked about AUD JPY did the 3.27 percent here came back AUD CHF and a little drawdown as well as AUD NZD so now we're gonna move on over to cloud trader 3 here all right next VPS All right, taking a look at Cloud Trader 3, we see AUD USD is in no open trades and no profit on the week. USD CHF is up 5.84% on the week. Absolutely incredible. CAD CHF is in a few trades and 1.3% drawdown. Nothing crazy. CHF JPY, as we know, we haven't even refunded that account because it's a terrorist. Uh, CAD JPY, as we see, has started to work on making its money back doing 1.4% on the week. Now we're in Cloud Trader 4, so we'll come on over here and take a peek. And we can see Euro AUD has no open trades on the week. Euro JPY is working, swinging its way back, 7% on the week. EuroCAD is in some hefty drawdown, as we talked about. EuroCAD is on a worst performers list. Euro CHF, as we can see, is in 13% drawdown and swinging. Euro USD, as we can see, that account I withdrew all the money from and need a refund. All right, let's go on over here to Cloud Trader. Five. All right, we can see GBP USD did nothing this week. GBP NZD did nothing this week. GBP JPY did nothing this week. GBP CAD did nothing this week. And what do you know, GBP AUD did nothing this week. So GBP pairs didn't get any high enough volatility to get their entries they needed. Going over to Cloud Trader 6, we'll take a peek. All right, we can see that USD CAD is up 0.35% on the week. NZD USD is not up at all on the week. We'll take a look and come on over here to our next cloud trader, cloud trader nine over here. Oops, that's not the one I was looking for. Let's go to cloud trader nine here. And now you should see it. All right, Euro NZD is up 3.72% on the week. And we can see that AUD CAD is in an open trade as well. So some magic is happening over here. Um, one last VPS we'll review. This is our million dollar account. So we're gonna come on over here. You can see we're in a little drawdown, 73% or so, nothing too crazy. Um, but this account is up over 180,000 profit and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the FX book on that as well so let's go back on over here to our good friend Safari so now we're back here at our good friend Safari we're going to come on over here to this large account and we're going to take a look and, and talk about it and review 
we can see that we're up over 24.4% uh, in 90 days. So we've been doing about 7% a month. We had an 18% drawdown at one point, but we're up over 200,000 profit on this Gearbox account. Um, you can see we've won 80% of trades and things are looking really great here. Um, in June, we did over 12% on this Gearbox account. Uh, pretty amazing to see that. So, really, really cool to be able to see the results um, that have been happening on a large account. Um, again, you know, this is an account that I, I do sometimes close trades out manually before they hit take profit. Uh, I am a little more hands-on with it being that there is a lot of capital being traded here um, that we can see so we tend to be um, very very conservative but also want to make sure that you know we take our profits off the table when they can last night I was gonna take some profits off the table um, and I didn't and you know I should have because uh, those trades today I woke up and you know they're still positive but they were up a lot more money last night um, and I could have just closed them out and bet on to the next one. So sometimes you got to learn to take your profits off the table. But with that being said, there is not too much more update wise I have. Let's take a look at the week ahead. And let's, you know, obviously I, uh, I pushed out a update to the manager last week. We're going to be pushing out more updates over the following weeks to Gearbox itself, to the manager, a lot of new features to be coming. We're going to be redoing a lot of the videos. There's a lot of exciting stuff in the works for the Gearbox product line. Uh, so let's get after it and let's take a look at the week ahead. So going into Monday, we can see there is CHF CPI red folder on Monday. You know, let's uh, let's also just sort by impact here. Let's just filter, and we'll just do it this way. All right, here is our red folders for the next week. So we do have NFP on Friday. Um, so no, it is NFP week. It's a brand new month. Um, but you can see going into Monday, we have CPI, we have AUD cash rate, AUD RBA rate statement, we have GBP Governor Bailey speaks, we have USD jo Jolt job openings, we have FOMC meeting minutes, ADP non-farm employment change, employment change, unemployment change, non-farm employment change, again, average hourly earnings, unemployment rate. We got a lot of volatile stuff this week, so I would recommend being on the conservative side with your money. Um, there's a lot of red folder news. It is NFP week, so as always, Better to be on the conservative side than the aggressive side when dealing with your capital and your wealth. So that's be how I'm managing my accounts this week. I'm going to be on the extra conservative side, and I'm very, very excited to continue to push out many of these new features to Gearbox for you and educate you all on them in the coming weeks. We've been making a lot of progress on them and testing, and I'm very, very, very excited about it all. So. Uh, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you.